The Olathe Public Library was established in 1889 by the Ladies' Reading Circle. In 1909, Olathe was given $10,000 by Andrew Carnegie to erect a free public library building. Over the years, the library has expanded services to accommodate the growing population. The new Indian Creek Library opened in 2019, and a new building will soon be built to replace the downtown library, giving Olathe two new modern buildings with equal services. The Library Foundation was founded in 2000 by the Tatham family and seeks to secure gifts from the community to strengthen and supplement the public's investment in the library. I'm Allison Antrim, and I am the Adult Programming Librarian at Olathe Public Library. For over 15 years, the Summer Reading Club grants from the Library Foundation have made it possible for thousands of children, teens, and adults in our community to read and learn through the library's summer reading program. Special programming is made possible by these grants, allowing adults to join us for unique experiences to connect with ideas and others, while children and teens receive the opportunity to continue learning while school is out. Our children's department also uses these grants to curate a rich selection of picture books and chapter books so that every child who participates in summer reading can choose a free book to keep. The teen and adult departments use their grants to reward their readers with gift cards so they can experience the tangible rewards of reading. Thank you for investing in our summer reading clubs. Your generosity touches the lives of readers and learners of all ages. My name is Kelly Polk, and I'm the Event and Volunteer Coordinator for the Olathe Public Libraries. This grant will allow us to provide quality programs in unique settings like our park that is adjacent to the Indian Creek Library. This space currently has an amphitheater, a playground and shelter, and beautiful green space. This grant provides the funding for outdoor seating, as well as a quality sound system for our programs like concerts, summer reading kickoff, and story time in the park. This also allows us the opportunity to partner with other city departments and host things like movie in the park and outdoor fitness classes from the Olathe Community Center. Thank you for helping us provide quality programming for the citizens of Olathe. The foundation has been an integral part of the development of the makerspace from their original donation for the very first maker equipment and a small room in downtown to the amazing space we have today. Their donations for equipment and laptops have become the foundation for the programming in the makerspace. In one year's time, we have run dozens of programs for hundreds of people. The Makerspace is a community space for entrepreneurs to run their own businesses, to provide programming for team building, and STEM classes from students from across the city of Olathe. But it's also so much more than just a space. During the COVID outbreak at the beginning of 2020, the Makerspace partnered with the Lee Etta Felter Masks of Mercy to 3D print hundreds of masks and PPE materials for first responders. The Makerspace is here to teach and help the Olathe community and generous foundation grants have made it possible. Thank you. Hello, my name is Ralph Tomlinson. I'm an adult services librarian at the Indian Creek Library. One unique foundation grant this year paid for the restoration of the mural, Romance of the Mail. The mail must go through. The painting, which originally adorned the Olathe Post Office, hung in the downtown Olathe Library from 1984 until that location closed earlier this year. The mural was painted during the Great Depression under the auspices of the Work Projects Administration Federal Art Project, commissioned by President Franklin Roosevelt. The project employed 10,000 artists from 1935 until 1943. The painting was featured in an episode of the PBS TV show, Sunflower Journeys. Peggy Van Witt from Van Witt Fine Art Conservation examined the painting and found discoloration from surface grime, yellowed varnish, and wax resin. She carefully removed the contaminants, brightening the mural significantly, and restoring it to the artist's original intent. The library will prominently display the painting at its new downtown location. Welcome to the Olathe Public Library temporary location. I'm Carrie Bingham Gutierrez. I'm a circulation supervisor at this location. Um, even though it's a lot smaller than our old downtown location, customers and staff that work here both say that it's cozy and they really like it. 
Um, so we have a few services we offer at this location, um, curbside being one of our most popular. So if you want to pick up your hold but don't feel like coming in, you can pull up curbside and give us a text and we'll run your materials out to you. Otherwise, we have all of our holds located in the corner when you first come in. So you can grab your own hold and check them out at one of our self-checks or if you don't have your library card, you can use our staff at the desk. Um, we also have our hot picks and limited loans and displays up here, so it still feels like normal, so you're not going to miss any of that stuff that you had at the old downtown location. We also, for our teen audience, we have our little teen nook over here. So all of the hot picks and new materials and the rest of our teen materials are located in this area. So feel free to come on by and grab your YA materials. Um, we also have our children's department, so I know a lot of people miss story times and things like that, but your favorite librarians are still here. They're tucked away in a corner in the back. And they'd be happy to help you get a new library card or find all of those children's picture books and children's material that you really want to check out. So they're going to be back here under the big Ask Here sign. Um, we also have computer use right now. However, it is limited due to COVID-19. So there's only three stations, limited to one hour per user per day. Um, but we do keep those cleaned throughout the day and after each use. And you are welcome to come in here and use our computers, print if you need to. Um, we'd be happy to help you if you have any questions. The new downtown library is one step closer to reality. The Olathe City Council has approved land acquisition that will place the downtown library north of Santa Fe behind the park at the intersection of Santa Fe and Chestnut Street. The $25 million project includes the library and the future home of the Olathe Chamber of Commerce. Design concepts are being completed and ground could be broken as early as April 2021. Hello and welcome to the lab the Indian Creek Public Library Makerspace. We're a do-it-yourself space with a variety of tools and equipment available for the public to use to bring any project to life. Our fiber arts corner includes sewing, serger, and embroidery machines, and scan and cuts that cut patterns on various materials, such as paper, vinyl, and cloth. We have top-of-the-line 3D printers and design software to create anything from tools to toys. We have a large format printer that prints on vinyl, banner, and heat transfer material. And we have a heat press to complete your project. We have a small milling machine for metals and wood. And the most popular and versatile machines in the space are the Trotec laser engravers. They can process acrylic, paper, wood, and even chocolate. Users surprise us every day with their ingenuity and their creative projects. Here is an example of one such project you can create here in the Makerspace. Welcome to the studio, a free space for patrons to come and play music or record sound and video. We have a ukulele, an acoustic guitar, an electric bass, an electric guitar, a drum kit, an Aturia keyboard, and over a dozen microphones and counting for a professional quality recording. The heart of the studio is the control room with our Personas digital mixer that can support up to 32 inputs. Here at the studio, you can create a record, a podcast, or even live stream with one of our cameras and lighting equipment. Stay tuned for podcasts and live streams of local artists brought to you right here in the studio. I see you standing there smoking your cigarette In your tweed jacket, two sizes too big The Library Foundation supports the library's digital services. In addition to ebooks, here are some free digital library services that you can access from your home. You can take classes from an online instructor on work-related and personal skills, popular software, hobbies, and more with Udemy and Universal Class. Live online tutors for kindergarten through college level are available from 2 to 11 p.m. through BrainFuse. 
Use Learning Express to take practice tests online like the ACT, AP, GED, and GRE exams. The next time you want to purchase a vehicle or new appliance, access the online edition of Consumer Reports to get expert, unbiased product ratings and reviews. Learn a language with Rosetta Stone or Mango Languages software. Download popular magazines to your devices with RV Digital. Downloaded issues are yours to keep. Stream everything from Sesame Street to National Theater Productions with subscriptions to Canopy, Canopy Kids, Acorn TV, IndieFlix, and the UK National Theater Collection. Read the New York Times online with a day pass available on the library website. Build and analyze your investment portfolio with ValueLine and Morningstar services. Did we mention that these services are free and can be accessed at www.olathalibrary.org? The Library Foundation would like to thank the following sponsors of this year's Taste of Literacy virtual fundraiser. These individuals and organizations recognize the ways libraries change lives by offering free fundamental services to the community. The Foundation and our donors help support fundamental library services, but also those additional unique programs that bring the community together and offer them something that they do not get anywhere else. A gift of any size to the Foundation will have a significant impact on the services that can be provided by the Olathe Public Library. Please consider making an online donation today in support of the Library Foundation at the link shown on the screen. Thank you for joining us at our virtual fundraiser this year. Even though circumstances force us to be apart physically, we thank you for staying connected with us virtually. We will also look forward to seeing you at our 2021 author event next fall.